1929 Ford, 1926 Ford fire truck. Everything in here is so well restored. 1928 red or auto red bug. Nineteen twenty six Stanley. Oh, this is another I don't know the year, but I see the Jaguar on the hood, so I would imagine this is the engine that would be in that car. Oh, it's a nineteen twenty seven Lincoln motor. What Jack? Really? We'll do it again. So I was totally wrong. 1927 Lincoln. And it's got that hound on the front end. Yeah, as we mentioned earlier, there's just too many cars. We'll never get through all this. 1927 Lincoln, $5,100. And there's Jai down there. She's preparing to do more pictures. This car here is just a beautiful car. I, I don't know that I've even seen one of these. It's kind of a basket carriage style. 1927 Lincoln. This is a 1934 Morgan. Two cylinder, right front mounted motor. Nineteen thirty three Austin, nineteen twenty nine Essex, nine hundred forty five dollars original price. Now for all you Chevy fans, this is your Chevrolet pickup back in the day. Nineteen twenty nine Ford Model A mail truck. Thirty one Ford. Six hundred and forty dollars. So the Marquette was twice the price as a Ford. Nineteen thirty three Ford, five hundred and fifteen dollars. Prices are coming down. Nineteen thirty four Chrysler Airflow. 1939 Mercury 99A Town Sedan, $916 in 1939. 1936 Hudson, 1937 Rio. It's a pickup truck. Rio Speed Delivery. 1933 Studebaker, $915. And another 31 Ford, no, $630. A little bit of glare on the signs, so it's hard to see them. Everything we've shown you so far in here is all pre-war. Pre 1930 Duesenberg. Well, there are so many of these real old ones. 
1937 Cord. I haven't heard that name in forever, too. Thirty-eight Phantom Corsair. I haven't heard that name in many years either. Twelve thousand dollar car. Nineteen thirty-three Auburn. Hundred eighty horse. Fifteen hundred dollars. 1936 Cord. Back to the front end of the 1938 Phantom Corsair. 1933 Franklin. $2,700. Thirty-one Bugatti. Thirty-six cord. So you Mercedes enthusiast, here's a nineteen thirty-six Mercedes Benz. Ten thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars now. Forty-two Packard. Now this is one I've never even heard of. It's a 1948 Delahaye. I'm sure there's others of you out there that do. No, it's a $20,000 car. Nineteen thirty-nine Plymouth. I had the 1941 Plymouth Coupe. It looked just like this. Both of them were pre-war. 1941 was the last production year. Lincoln Continental, 41. 1941 Lincoln Zephyr. And I should say it was the last production year pre-war. They sent all their extra steel to building weaponry, arsenal for the wars. Look at the motor on that bad boy. Don Edwards owner, it's a it's a boat, race boat. This car here is Big Daddy Don Garlitz. 1974. Get a load of the motor on this thing. Yeah, this is during my post. I was actually in the Army when, when this car came out in 74. Yeah. That car was back in the era when I was in the Army. Oh, um, Shirley Muldowney raced this car here in 1975. Like it says on here, Prudhomme's 1975 Prudhomme's Funny Car. And it was raced by Shirley Muldowney. Double A fuel, $25,000 the cost. You can't even touch partial motors for that. But this is a 77 Porsche. Nineteen seventy two McLaren Bruce McLaren Motor Racing. You get a look how rustic inside here it is. These guys were sitting in here for hundreds of miles racing this car. Nineteen seventy seven Steam and Demon. This one here um, ran. I believe I would have to read up on it, but this car ran in the Bonneville Salt Flats to work on setting the fastest speed. 
um, price when new it was five hundred thousand dollars half a million dollars land speed car steam turbine yes yeah yeah Bonneville salt flats reaching 110 miles per hour and in, in 1977 that was a big deal Oh, uh, Plymouth Road Runners Superbird. This is a really rare car back then. Yeah. Um, I don't know whose car this is. I, I'm, I'm, oh, Fredericks and Sykes. This one also ran Bonneville Records. If you note, 1978, 206 miles an hour, 79, 211. And 87, it went up as high as 216 miles an hour. That was a lot back in this, this era. It's a 1954 Lincoln. Yeah. The price when new it was ten thousand dollars. Yeah. It went in the Mexican road race, which was originally or, uh, organized in the 50s. So this 55 Lincoln, that's why it's all dolled up like it is. This car raced in the Carrera Pan American Mexican Road Race. 1935 Faulkner. First midget car races were held at Ascot Park in Los Angeles in 1914. In 33, the Midget Auto Racing Association was formed. And this is kind of what they were racing back, back in that day. They would run them on the beaches even. You used to see old videos way back where they were running these on the beach. Nineteen seventy five McLaren Drake Offy Indy race car. Um, it's got a double overhead cam, turbocharged Drake Offenhauser four cylinder, eight hundred horsepower motor. And you can really see it more back here to the back. You see the twin turbos here? Well, I guess it's apparently just one turbo. Do you see another one on that side? Or do you even see the motor? No, the motor anyhow, it's, it's, it's huge. It takes up this whole bottom and it's got the turbo coming out. Okay, this one here, uh, you can only see the engine from this side on the top as well. And it's a 500D Austin rotary special. And you can see the rotary mechanism over here on this side. It's a $12,000 car when it was built in 1955. Pretty impressive. And this one here, 55 Ferrari, Ferrari. Double overhead cam, four cylinder, 250 horsepower. Yeah, 1955. I'm, I'm two years older than this car. <laughs> it ran in the 53 Ruin Grand Prix, got first place. 54 Buenos Aires Grand Prix, first place. 54 Bordeaux Grand Prix, first place. 54 Daily Express Trophy Race, first place. It's got tons and tons of first place wins. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. If you could reach down at the bottom there and smash the like and subscribe, we'd appreciate it. This is Bobby and Jai with Time to Get Going. Out.